there! How's it going? I'm Samantha and welcome to Spooky Story Saturday. I tell spooky stories and I do makeup. If this is your thing, please hit that subscribe button. I'll be listing the products that I use in the description box below. Warning, today we're going to be talking about death and the paranormal. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. We're going to be talking about Olive Thomas and the New Amsterdam Theater. They go together a little bit, you'll see a little bit later on. So I actually walked past this theater when I was in New York City this past May. Um, I didn't get a chance to go in, but outside it was gorgeous. I absolutely love all of the infrastructure in New York City. It's so cool to see. The New Amsterdam Theater opened on October 26, 1903, which means that it's actually almost 120 years old. It will be next year. The theater was built inspired by A Midsummer's Night Dream, and that was actually the first show that played at the theater. When it opened, the New Amsterdam was called The House Beautiful and is currently the oldest operating theater on Broadway. In 1913, the Ziegfeld Follies began its 14-year run in June, and there was a Ziegfeld Follies showgirl named Olive Thomas, who we'll circle back to here in a minute. The theater fell on hard times in 1929, and that was uh, the beginning of the Great Depression, and the theater is said to have fallen into disrepair. So now we're gonna talk about Olive Thomas. Olive Thomas was born Olivia R. Duffy on October 20th, 1894, to Rena and James Duffy. She was born in Pennsylvania, and when she was 12 years old, her father sadly passed away. Um, I think it was said that it was a work accident. Her mother then moved her and her two brothers to their grandparents' house so that she would be able to work as a single mother. When Olive was 15, she quit high school to help out the family, like to help support the family. She worked at Joseph Horn's department store, and when she was 16, she married Bernard Krug Thomas, I may have said that wrong, in April 1911. After two years of marriage, Olive left him and moved to New York City. Olive entered a beauty pageant, won, and was named the most beautiful girl in New York City, and that was in 1914. Olive became an artist model, and she was featured on magazine covers, including the Saturday Evening Post. In June 1915, Olive made her debut as a Ziegfeld Follies girl at the New Amsterdam Theater. She remained with the Follies for just over a year until she signed with the International Film Company. Her first film role was in Beatrice Fairfax, and then in 1917, she signed with Triangle Pictures. In 1915, she was granted a divorce from Mr. Thomas for the reasons of desertion and cruelty. In 1917, Olive announced her engagement to Jack Pickford. Now, in my last video, I actually mentioned Jack's sister, Mary Pickford, who was a silent film star at the time. Jack was also an actor. And while Mary was known as America's sweetheart, Jack was known as America's boyfriend. A couple of the movies that Jack starred in are Great Expectations, and he played Tom Sawyer a couple of times. Jack was a bit of a partier, and he was known as kind of a ladies' man. Um, Olive herself also liked to party. It's been said that Jack and Olive actually married in silence because I guess Jack's family didn't approve. In December 1918, Olive signed with Selznick Picture Company, who later on would give jobs to both of her brothers as well. Jack was also signed to Selznick Pictures. Probably Olive's most well-known movie, The Flapper, was released in 1920, and her last film was released October 4th, 1920. Altogether, she acted in about 23 films. In August 1920, Olive and Jack decided to do a second honeymoon. At the time, it said that their marriage was struggling, and so they decided to go to Paris, and they thought that might help. On the night of September 5th, they went out together and then they returned to their hotel room at the Ritz. That night, Olive accidentally drank or swallowed mercury bichloride and sadly, she would die five days later. There is talk that it might not have been an accident, but since I don't know, that's 
what I'm going with happened. Her cause of death on her autopsy report was listed as kidney inflammation as a result of the mercury bichloride. Honestly, what a tragic end to such a rising star. And her and Jack were so in love with one another. It's just, it's heartbreaking. Olive was only 25 at the time. It's been said that Olive's ghost has been seen around the new Amsterdam theater since dating back to close to when um, her death occurred. Olive is said to be wearing a green beaded dress and carrying a blue little bottle, which is what the mercury bichloride was supposed to be in. And when people leave the theater at night, they say, good night, Olive. A security guard who worked at the theater saw Olive, but he didn't know who she was. And he shouted, hey, you can't be in here. And then she disappeared through a wall that led to the outside. A group of employees were sitting around discussing a new movie about silent film actors that was about to come out. And one of them asked, I wonder what Olive would think of the film when suddenly 13 or 14 DVDs went flying across the room and crashed to the floor. They said that the DVDs had been there for a while and that no one had touched them. So they have no idea what happened. So some of them think it may have been Olive. Some people report like someone touching their back in like a pranking manner. It said that sometimes Olive speaks to men in the theater and she's been seen in the theater itself and also on the roof where sometimes they would perform the follies for the street crowd below. So in 1993, Disney actually signed a 99 year lease on the building and it took them two years to restore it. And then Aladdin, which is currently playing, opened in 2014. What do you think? Do you think the theater's haunted? I think it's possible that Olive went back and that she could possibly still be hanging around. Is there a story that you want me to cover next? If so, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my other uploads on Tuesdays and always come back to Spooky Story Saturdays on Saturday. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye.